Do you want to upgrade the layout of your variable product options from something like this to something like this? Then keep watching because in this tutorial, I'll show you the best way to offer product options and upgrades to your customers by adding checkboxes, image buttons, and much more, all with a single WooCommerce plugin. Let's get right into it. First, I want to show you what it looks like when we have a variable product without the use of this plugin. It's easy enough to create a variable product in WooCommerce. We can create attributes like flavor, shape, and icing color for this cake, but they're only displayed as drop down items. And we can't dynamically update the price using these different variations. We'll have to set a price for each of the many different variations which these attributes can create, which can be a very tedious process. You can see that for things like the icing color and the shape, it'd be great if we had some visual guides to know what we're looking at when it comes to these different variations. So it'd be great to have a picture of each of the different shapes for the cake, as well as an idea of exactly what color the icing will be, rather than just a simple plain text description. So all in all, you can see this is a functioning variable product, but it's pretty unprofessional and very basic in nature. Now compare it to this personalized birthday cake product that I made using the WooCommerce product options plugin from Barn2. First of all, I still have a simple drop down for flavor because that's not too difficult for people to understand. But here, the icing color shows the actual color that it will be using color swatches. And we have image buttons for the shape, as well as you can see a price increase of 10% or 15% for the more complicated shapes. Here we have a custom text entry where I can write happy birthday to my friend or relative. Or if I'd like for an extra $10, I can even upload a photo that can be custom printed onto the cake. Finally, I can even add a checkbox here for a rush charge with an increase of 20% for those that need the cake within 48 hours. All of these selection options have been created using the WooCommerce product options plugin. And in today's video, I'll show you how to install, set up, and create all of these custom product options for your own store. And I've made it easier for you to follow along by including a link to a small download with the product images that I'm using today. Click the first link in the description to purchase and download the plugin, which as always is covered by our 30 day money back guarantee. Installation is very straightforward. After downloading the zip file from your purchase confirmation, log into your WordPress site and navigate to plugins, add new. Then we'll click the upload plugin button, choose the zip file, or drop it here, click open, and finally click install. Then once that's done, you can activate the plugin. The setup wizard should launch automatically, but if not, you can complete the same steps on the plugin settings page here. Add your license key in the first step and click activate. Then continue by clicking here on create product options. You can always find this page by navigating on the sidebar to products, product options, which is created by the plugin. Now this page will be empty for you at first, so you'll need to click add group to create a new one. I'm going to use the existing personalized birthday cake group so I can show you how to build it for yourself. Once you've added a group, you can always manage it by clicking edit or manage options. Now, like I mentioned in the introduction, we're going to create a personalized birthday cake. So all of the options here are going to relate to that product in particular. We'll get to building the product in a second, but for now, let's just focus on creating our first option. Give the option group a name. In this case, you can be specific, for example, personalized birthday cake. Now at the moment, you won't see any options here. So I want you to click the add option button. We're going to create the flavor option using the drop down select. So write the name flavor and you can select to display this option name so customers will see what they're selecting. Choose the drop down select and scroll down to choices. Now here, this plus button will give you more options and you can fill them in, for example, angels food. So I want you to create a few options for yourself just as an example like chocolate, vanilla, lemon, etc. I want you to tick this box, making a selection required. 
And if you want, you can pre-select one of the options for the customer. If I do this, chocolate will always be selected on the page unless the customer wants to choose something else. In this case though, I think it's best to let them see all the options before selecting one. I can also add an additional price for various different options. If I need Angel's Food to cost more, I can add a flat fee of $2. Then down the bottom, you want to save changes before doing anything else. Congratulations, you just created an options group. Now let's make a product that we can apply it to. Go to products, add new, and type the name of your product. In this case, I suggest naming it personalized birthday cake. Then you can set a product image from the download that I provided in the description of this video. Scroll down and set a price. I'll set it at $25 for regular and leave it as a simple product. We don't actually need to create a variable product for this to work because the product options plugin is gonna do that for us. Now we need to publish this product in order for it to work with the plugin, but you can set the visibility to private if you prefer, and then update. Now go back to product options, select the options group, and make sure that you add the correct product, personalized birthday cake, in the inclusion section. And make sure that the visibility is set to show on specific categories or products for this to work. Again, save changes down the bottom and go to the product page to check that everything's working. At this moment, you should see the flavor option with the drop down list that we created already. And we can see here that we must select an option. And if I want the angel's food option, it'll add $2 to the final price. Next, we'll add the icing color, shape, text entry, upload, and rush charge as well. So stay with me for all of that. All good so far? All right, let's add some more options to this cake. Go back to the personalized birthday cake options group and choose manage options. It's time to add the icing color options using color swatches. Once again, click add option and give it the name icing color. Make sure you hit display for this name and choose the color swatches option. Then scroll down to choices and create multiple different color choices for your customers to pick from. In this case, I wrote white, candy pink, pale blue, and lemon yellow. And you can modify the color right here using the color code, just like in any other application. Once again, you can modify the price based on the type of icing, and you can pre-select one of the icings by default. We also have the option to write a description for customers to be a little bit more specific about what we are asking them to do. And then we also want to display the label and color swatches. So we see the name right next to the color rather than just a name or just a color. We're also going to require this as an option for the birthday cake. But in order to cater to all customers, you might want to add an option that's vegan friendly or dairy free. Save those changes and make sure you check the product page to see that all of the colors you created are showing up as they should. Then before we move on, I'd really appreciate you supporting my work here by liking this video. Thank you so much in advance. Now let's give people the ability to choose a shape, but this is a visual selection, so we need to use image buttons. So again, click add option and type the name shape. Display that and choose the image buttons from the options here. Scroll down and create four different choices, round, square, heart, and star. Then upload the matching images for those from the download pack that I gave you. Now the rest of this is optional, but I recommend pre-selecting the round cake and you can add a percentage increase for the more complicated shapes. So here I've added 15% for the star because it's the most complicated shape to create. Once again, we can add a more detailed description, but this one should be fairly straightforward for customers. We also need this as a required option. And don't forget to display label and image buttons. And then you need to quickly save the changes first. 
and then open this advanced settings tab. See how it's a open or close tab. And we want to set the maximum quantity at one. Then once again, save changes. No birthday cake would be complete without a personalized message for the birthday boy or girl. And we can receive this from the customer using a custom text input field. Create a new option and label it text and choose text input. Scroll down to choice. The label can be text or custom text and the price type will be character count with the pricing being 50 cents or whatever you choose. And this is gonna add 50 cents per character. I recommend adding a description here as customers need to know what they're supposed to write. This is not required as it's an optional upsell. And then you'll need to quickly save. Then again, open this advanced settings tab and set the character limit at a maximum of 25 or whatever you are happy with. You may also want to offer a custom photo print onto the cake, edible of course. Click add option and label it photo upload and then choose this file upload type. Scroll down and label it again with photo upload and choose the price type. It could be a flat fee for this because we're just adding one item and we don't want it to be some kind of percentage that's too confusing. So a flat fee, in this case, I chose $10 and give the customers a description so they know what this is for. Again, it's an optional upsell and we need to save, then open this advanced settings tab and we need to copy these settings. So the maximum file size could be five megabytes and we need only one file. So maximum number of files is one and we're gonna limit it to the file types which are related to images such as JPEG and PNG or PDF. Leave everything else the same and save changes. And for those last minute customers who need the cake within 48 hours, we'll need them to select the rush charge option, which will add 20% to our final price. Choose the checkbox option. And in this case, there's only one option for rush charge with a percentage increase of 20% or whatever else you would like to charge. This plus button will allow you to add more options for checkboxes, but remember that checkboxes allow you to choose multiple options at once. If you want to display multiple options but have only one selectable, then you need to use radio buttons. Finally, add a description and save changes. All right, let's take one more look at our personalized birthday cake product. Now, first of all, we can see that the base price is $25. Let's see if we can max out this cake. So first of all, we're gonna select a angel's food because that adds $2. Then we're gonna choose any icing that we like. I think candy pink is good. We're gonna choose the star option because that's 15% more. Now for every character, it's gonna add 50 cents with a limit of 25 characters. So let's say happy fifth birthday. And this is gonna add 50 cents per character. Now I would also like to do a photo upload. Awesome. And that's gonna add $10 to my E. And finally a rush charge to get all of this done as fast as possible. And my total is $55.25. So now you can offer more options and make more money from those options using this plugin. Very handy indeed. Well done. You now know how to create a wide range of completely unique and customizable product options for your business. But it doesn't end there, as there's so much more that this plugin can do. Watch this video next to learn how to set up a cost calculator for other types of made-to-order products. And of course, thanks for watching.